Hello ladies and gents and welcome to another episode of Cycling Insider. In this episode of Cycling Insider let's talk about another bike from Cannondale and this is the 2020 season from Cannondale and we're going to be talking about the Super 6 Evo High Mod Disc Ultegra. As you already see, mouthful of bike names, but this is the tradition for 2020 season, it seems like. So, <clears throat> when you come to the Cannondale uh, bikes and you check the Super 6 Evo, it's uh, such a legend of the bike. This is the all-in race bike that Cannondale professionals are using in the World Tour. And especially when you check the High Mod series, so High Modulus Carbon Fiber, this is uh, top of the top uh, creme de la creme of carbon fiber frames and forks that uh, Cannondale uh, can produce. And as you already know, uh, Cannondale offers a lifetime warranty on carbon fiber frames and forks. And from my experience, uh, if there is any kind of problem with Cannondale bikes, they will truly sort it out quickly, almost like no questions asked. So let's check out this uh, high mod Super 6 Evo and let's see what do you get for 4,000 British pounds. This is approximately 5,200 US uh, dollars. So first things first, let's check out the paint scheme. So this uh, Super 6 Evo in high mod version uh, comes in this beautiful uh, race replica, team replica. It's a purple, uh, black with a hint of white, really classy color scheme. And I have no complaints, I would gladly ride this bike in, uh, in this uh, color scheme. I mean, uh, make no mistakes, uh, 4,000 British pounds or 5,200 US dollars is a lot of money, but this bike offers uh, really top-notch carbon fiber frame and fork and also some other components. So let's see if we can find anything where Cannondale has cut corners on this uh, bike. I'll quickly jump to the specs of the bike so we can dive a bit more deeper. I mean, as I said, all about this bike is the top notch frame and fork. So here we are speaking about the carbon fiber high modulus ballist tech carbon fiber from Cannondale. And this is the top of the notch carbon fiber that they can offer. So you are absolutely getting the top of the line frame and fork. And uh, as I said, they come with a lifetime warranty. So both uh, frame and fork come with um, uh, through axles, so 12 millimeter through axles both front and the back, so 100 millimeters uh, width on the front and 142 millimeters at the back. And this frame, as you will see, is the classical Cannondale press fit uh, bottom bracket um, BB30 with the Cannondale's own hologram uh, cranks. So as I said, you are getting top of the line, top of the notch uh, carbon fiber frame and fork uh, for your money. So if we dive a bit deeper into the components, I immediately see some interesting thing. This is something new for 2020, where Cannondale is uh, offering you and giving you this kind of wheel sensor, Cannondale wheel sensor. I'm guessing this is a classical wheel sensor where you pair it with whatever online, with whatever onboard computer you got, like your your Garmin, for example, and then it can track different parameters of your ride, maybe like an average speed, max speed, distance, all these other things. So moving on to the drivetrain of the bike, uh, as I said, this is a classical Cannondale with press fit uh, BB30 uh, bottom bracket with the hologram SI uh, Cannondale uh, crank set, uh, which is 5034 chain rings. So you absolutely, it's a compact chain ring, so you absolutely won't have any problems in, in attacking any steep mountain. And as I said, a hologram uh, crank sets from Callendale are extremely light uh, and stiff. Personally, uh, I can't say I'm a huge fan of press fit bottom brackets, but it's very hard to avoid them these days. If I could choose, I would still stick with the uh, threaded bottom brackets, but Cannondale and other manufacturers are just keeping these different standards of press fit uh, bottom brackets. Chain on the bike is the Shimano's HG601 11 speed chain. Uh, this is a bit of kind of sneaky move, I would say. I wish they kept like an Ultegra level chain. This is a bit lower. This is on a, on a level of Shimano 105 uh, level chain. Front mech on the bike is the Shimano's Ultegra 
uh, a mech uh, so the whole group set on the bike is basically Shimano Zultegra mechanical group set so you got a front mech, a rear mech um, and the shifters everything is Shimano Ultegra so I can't complain here this is top of the of the line uh, shifting performance rear cassette on the bike is also Shimano Ultegra 1132 so when you pair it with your chain rings 5034 as I said absolutely no excuse in attacking any steep um, uh, mountains uh, since this is a hydraulic disc brakes on the bike then of course uh, shifters and the brakes are integrated in the shifter housing so you have the um, uh, braking system again Shimano Ultegra hydraulic disc brakes 160 millimeter rotors front and back and uh, again a little cutting corner here where Cannondale has included this Shimano RT54 rotors I wish they kind of stepped the game and went for the iStack rotors on the Ultegra level because after all you are paying 4000 British pounds for this uh, bike some other uh, components to mention handlebar classical Cannondale alloy handlebar nothing special there uh, saddle is the Prologo Nago uh, RS STN version uh, I mean nothing special about the saddle as I always say when you ride it if you don't like it it's easy to replace and it's not an expensive component a seat post uh, classical touch from Cannondale it's their own uh, hologram uh, SLKNOT carbon fiber seat post 27 millimeters in diameter which is always a brilliant touch I like carbon fiber seat post they just give you much more smoothness in the ride and again uh, stem nothing special Cannondale's alloy uh, stem so all in all when I look at this uh, bike um, for 4,000 pounds up till now I see kind of two little details which is of course the chain as I mentioned and these Shimano uh, braking rotors uh, totally forgot to mention if we move to the wheel set of the bike here we have the Cannondale's own uh, in-house production of the wheels so we have their hologram KNOT wheels wheel set front and back but the good thing is that internals of this wheel set so internals of the hubs are DT Swiss I just love DT Swiss I still think they make the best wheel sets and hubs out there so this is a great move from Cannondale to incorporate DT Swiss technology into their wheel set also thing to mention I mean uh, this is a carbon fiber wheel set a carbon clincher uh, 19 millimeters inner width and 35 millimeters depth and also it comes with DT Swiss Aero light spokes tires are Vittoria Rubinho Pro uh, 25c tires uh, I mean a narrow tire because this is an all-in race bike but I hope you can uh, squeeze a 28 mil tire uh, because it just will give you a bit more suppler ride than these 25 mil tires but again this is an all-in race bike and that's why Cannondale has equipped it with the 25 mil tires so overall when I look at this bike uh, with the current price of 4000 British pounds I mean I have to mention that I hope you can uh, go into your Cannondale bike dealer and be nice and negotiate a bit on the price so let's pretend you get another 10 to 15 percent discount so we might call it about three and a half thousand British pound bike generally speaking I would definitely recommend you to go into your Cannondale dealer and check out uh, this bike it's a very attractive offer for about 4000 British pounds especially I'm interested in getting you know the high modulus uh, ballistic uh, carbon fiber frame and fork from Canyon this is top of the notch creme de la creme as I said and the only two little details that I have noticed on this bike that they could have really made it 10 out of 10 would be that the chain on the bike they should have stepped up the game and just included the Ultegra chain I mean of course you have this 105 chain currently and when you get when it gets destroyed it's easy to replace but I think Canada should just include it and also braking rotors uh, this is a kind of basic level Shimano braking rotors I think also they could have stepped up the game and included the Shimano Tegra uh, ice tech rotors except from that everything else is truly top-notch so if you are in the market for a bike uh, of this level for about 4,000 British pounds or 5,200 US dollars absolutely you gotta check the Cannondale bike they are usually super light bikes I couldn't find here the bike weight but I'm guessing 
in the size 56 this should be something about 7.3 kilograms i would almost be surprised if it's much more heavier than that so all in all i think this is going to be it for today if you like what i'm doing please do subscribe to my channel i will be making more of these videos and as always i will see you soon in the next episode Pura vida.